I wasn't going to do a voiceover for this video. Then I decided to talk about where I came from, my childhood. Why? Because if you understand a little bit of that, you can understand how happy and content and thankful I am to live the life I live now. I was born in Brooklyn, New York by a beautiful woman that sadly became an alcoholic and a convict. That sounded a lot better in my head and an intelligent man that was trapped in the system. I was taken away at age eight with my siblings and put in foster care. Now, I really want to say anyone that's been in foster care or anyone that's in foster care right now, your life will not always be how it is right now. Definitely if you do not have control over it. Luckily, my foster care experience was not as bad as some of the girls that I knew when I was in foster care and hearing the horrible and horrific things that happened to them while they were either in group homes, foster homes, or even babysitted by another family. What I will never understand is literally the state takes you away from your parents that are claimed to be unfit parents, put you in an environment that is supposed to help you, and a lot of times you are put in a worse situation. When kids are young and put in foster care, they need stable homes. They need homes that didn't experience trauma. Because if you have trauma, majority of the time you will get triggered and react a certain way because of the kid that you are fostering. The amount of stories and things I heard foster parents, group home people doing to kids my age where they were supposed to be safe there is unbelievable. So bad to the point that when I was younger, I wanted to be a foster parent. I wanted to be a social worker because at least I understood. I had the experience and understood but now that I am a mother, I personally can say I do not think I could be a foster parent or foster children. Not for the fact that I will do something to the children or I would not be a good parent to another child, but for the simple fact of they come with trauma. And every day, I am still working on healing myself. That little girl that was traumatized at a young age while trying to raise strong, intelligent, and beautiful little girl that has not been traumatized. I feel like a lot of people feel like over years they just get over things without working on anything, without really taking accountability that it wasn't your fault or it was your fault and just going on with your life. It's not how life works. And having kids show that. They will show you if you are completely healed. They will show you if you're completely over something. And they will really show you how bad what happened to you affected you. Once I was in foster care, after staying with cousins for a little bit, I was then put into a foster home that I was not related to. It was two elderly people that we ended up staying with for approximately three years. When you are freshly sent into foster care, the system's main goal or the state's main goal is to get you back with your parents. It pretty much puts your parents on a strict schedule of different things that they have to do and accomplish and work on before they can get their children back. Now for mine, obviously my mom had to stop drinking, be able to have a stable home for us and a job. Now, if you're someone that's a parent that was addicted to something or is, you understand how hard it can be. Now the state actually does give them a lot of chances, but after the chances are up, their rights are completely taken away. Now, if the parent is incarcerated, their rights are instantly taken away. Now, once your parents' rights are taken away, it's sad to say, but you're like auctioned off. Caseworker ends up setting up this photo shoot for you. These nice pictures. It's posted on this website where all these foster kids are ready to be adopted. And the caseworker goes through each family and introduces you to them and tries to find a family for you aka your new parents, your new home. Now, the process can be really long. In our circumstance, it really wasn't. But for a child, it's emotionally not good. From the day we were taken away till the moment that I was adopted, you are in and out of courts, having to talk to this person and that person about whether or not you like this family or if you do not like this family. After a while, you as a kid, having to go to this family's house and that family's house and trying to decide which home that you want to call home, it becomes overwhelming, exhausting, and you just pick a home. Now, the family I chose, 
I genuinely cared for, and they genuinely wanted the best for us. Now, at this point, I was 11, and I was tired of the system. I tired of going to the yearly foster care retreats where you meet a bunch of other foster kids, and you just hear so much sad stories. I honestly really just wanted a home to call mine, ours, and feel safe. Once I did find that, it was with a Caucasian family, which quickly turned from good to bad to worse. Within a year of speaking back and forth with my biological family, my mom, being at school, kids telling me my family did not want me, I fastly disconnected from my adopted family. And I did everything in my power to sabotage everything. In high school, I was completely lost. I did everything from illegal activity, underage activities, honestly, anything to feel wanted, needed. Because I felt like the older I got, the more I felt like I was unwanted. I was kicked out at 17 and told I would have to leave. I then actually moved to New York where my biological family was and stayed with them and tried to figure out life. Got my GED, went to college, and worked. Now, From the age of 8 to 17, I was in therapy. And can I tell you it helped? Maybe kind of, but for the majority of the time, never wanted to talk to anyone. For the simple fact is I felt like they did not understand they never lived the life I lived. I got extremely depressed. My sophomore year and my foster mother and my therapist decided that I needed to go away. Half my sophomore year, I spent in a mental house for just girls. It was 24-7, therapy, school, and just talking about your feelings. Most of the girls lived the same life I did. Or similar or so much worse. Was I crazy? No. Was I traumatized? High schooler that was going through a lot of stuff, yes. And it was honestly a big go-to for a therapist that had foster kids or adopted kids. to go to one of those places to get extra help. Now, I'm not going to lie, I actually met some cool girls there. But we had all went through some stuff. Some worse than others, but we all had some messed up lives that we should have never went through. That is literally a glimpse of my past and my childhood. That is why I share my life with my daughter. Because I want to show any girl, woman that has went through anything I went through. You can have the life that you always wanted and give that to your children. But it is a process and something you have to work on every day. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of that family. Love you guys.